and Rick the Belmont 12. Welcome to a new Castlevania LP. Let's play Castlevania Curse of Darkness. Released in 2005 for the P PS2 and Xbox. This is the PS2 version. We're going to start a new game. Enter our name. I love this game so much. I really do. Love it more than Lama of Innocence, even though Lama of Innocence set the Castlevania storyline good. Rick. I don't know how to spell Victor Ray. Oh wow, I don't even know how to spell my own name. Oh well. <laughs> now I may warn you, the cutscenes in this game is kind of laggy. But I know, but I know someone on YouTube upload, that uploads the cutscenes. So you might want to check that out too. So, if you don't mind the laggy cutscenes, I wish you enjoy this laggy cutscene if you can. Alright. 1476, Plesia. A great war raged between Dracula and humanity. Just when it seemed that there was no hope for mankind to live. Out of the darkness and despair, a champion arose. A true-blooded vampire hunter named Trevor Belmont. Belmont and his comrades triumphantly slew Lord Dracula. A truly glorious victory for all. However, the evil one did not pass from this world in silence. With his final words, Lord Dracula left a demonic curse that enshrouded all of Europe in misery and torment. Ravaged by hideous plague, the entire famine. The people's hearts turned black and murderous. The weak were slain without pity. The land was pillaged and scourged without remorse. Three years have passed since the death of Lord Dracula, and the invocation of Dracula's curse. So this game takes place right after Castlevania 3. Wow. I hope you still don't mind leggy cutscenes. I'm just giving it giving a heads up. And another leggy cutscene. Great. It wasn't happening in... Well, it's been a sense, but oh well. And here we have our main hero, Hector. A Devil's Force Master who served under Lord Dracula, but then... Yeah, this, um... Cutscene actually explains why. Kinda. Show yourself! I, I know you're here! God, laggy cutscene make them sound funny. Yeah, I was worried about this. Is that you? I finally tracked you down. <laughs> you tracked me down. <laughs> I was the one who lured you here. Huh. The fool who betrayed our Lord Dracula. That matters not. I've come to exact my revenge upon you. For the death of Rosalie! Oh, and how will you have this revenge? <laughs> when you are utterly at my mercy, you relinquished your powers. You couldn't even protect your own woman. Ouch. And now, you think to defeat me? <laughs> Lord Dracula is gone, but his powers are still here in Valencia. Even you must realize... Devil forging. Shit. Indeed. With this, the most... God. He looks gay. Hector, uh, Hector, A wisp me. of conjure can be transformed into belly snivel. There are but Isaac two looks gay. who possess this magnificent power. You and I. Yep. Yes. To a lasting shame. But I shed that evil power. Never again will I use it. Uh, but you will, Hector, and soon you have no choice. Without, I could crush you in an instant. 
But that would be very satisfying. Oh, uh, you made him pissed. You deserve a most gruesome feat for humiliation you brought upon me three years ago. Bereft of the power of devil fortune, you cannot hope to pursue me. Uh. That is why you will reclaim your powers and thence follow where I lead you. <clears throat> but in the end, the glorious vengeance you seek will not be yours. It will be mine. Really now? <laughs> God, you're so <laughs> flamboyish. Wait, Isaac! You sure go up there and get him, you know. Oh well. Darkness and reclaim that accursed power once more. Heed my words. I will hunt you down like the beast you are. I will have my revenge. I bet you will be. This is the game, folks. The abandoned castle. And what's this? Mo free moving camera? Awesomeness. We are Hector. Got a sword, squares to attack, square followed by a circle. Is a final attack. We'll have more combos depending on what weapons we have. Triangle is something later. X is, X is the jump. We have double jump. R1 blocks. L1 locks the camera in our position. Pressing start. <coughs> this is your menu. Your level. Your HP. Your attack, defense, strength, concentration, and luck. Max luck. And gold playthrough. And there's one other thing. I'll point out later. How many experience points you have? What's the next level? And all that jazz. Your weapon you currently equip, head, armor, accessories. Wait a minute. You can equip armor and head armor now? Huh. That's cool. And your stats and you can read it right here. Yeah, let's go. The other menus will be explored later. Let's enter to the castle. Special select gets your map. Oh! If you turn around and go to the pathway. If you have Lomos of Innocence saved on your memory card, you get a hidden item called Maui. You can sell it for a crazy amount of money, or you can just heal you. Yeah, kind of weird, huh? Huh? You got locked in. But there's a dead end straight ahead. What the hell? We should go in here. And what the fuck? Whoa! An enemy among us. Executioner level 2! Wait a minute. Enemies have levels now? I guess so! Executioner level 2. Enemies have levels now! Oh, uh, thunk it. Memorial take it. Warps the last registered save point. Open up this door and this leads us to the save spot. Where we save, heal up, and register a memorial ticket. That's kind of good. Okay, let's save. Save complete. And let's continue on. Oh yeah, enemies have levels now. You'll counter the same type of enemies, but higher levels later on. So let's keep going. Oh yeah, the thing on your feet means there's a safe spot nearby. All right, let's keep going. This what the hell? Hey, skeletons! And a new material items. Yes, there are materials in this game. However, that'll be for later on. Let's read what it says. Um, item materials. Yeah, that's also another thing. Every time I grab an item, it's instant 99. This is bronze, deep bluish bronze. Pretty common as a material and not that strong, but it has many uses. I wonder. <laughs> There's one thing I love about this game, and we'll get to that later. And there's one thing I hate about this game, we can get, get used to that later. Oh yeah, that skeleton level 1 drops no experience points. <laughs> the only enemy in the game that has 
no experience points whatsoever. Heh! <laughs> that kinda sucks. But oh well. I digress. Anyways, we come across skeletons and a skill! Quick step! Just like Lemos of Innocence. I don't know you're wondering, what's that red symbol ne right near my HP bar? The weapon we're currently holding is a sword weapon. There are many different col kinds of colors. There are red, blue, yellow, green, uh, white. Oh, uh, that'll tell you an equipment item, let's see. Yeah, here we go. Um, we got red with sword, blue is axe, green is spear, yellow is fist, and white is special. We'll explain what special is later. Let's go up here and find a new enemy! Fenthier level 5. We got a new material. Wild memory. A strange stone fragment with ancient memories carved on it. Used for simple weapons. Huh. I wonder if it is simple or not. Uh, more wild memories. Uh, more zero experience point skeletons. Why kill them? Because I just wanted to. Materials are kind of easier to drop without the 99 luck. Ooh. Neat! Wow, you get me under candles now. That's something new. <laughs> I know you're thinking, is there a double step? Yes, there is a double step. There's a save spot here, but we're not going to register it yet. Not Actually, we're not going to register it at all, because... Get the backtrack. And I hate backtracking, but oh well. I digress anyways. This game is open world um, exploring. We got the castle, we got mountains, cities, and all that stuff, rather than inside a castle. Oh, a map! Abandoned castle map. An overall map of the area, lacking in finer details. Huh. Lacking, huh? Hey, it's been clear. Level up! When you level up, you gain one concentration point and one strength point. And I think for every two, you gain a... Uh, I think every two, you gain a uh, strength or defense, attack and defense, I don't know. But oh well. Oh, sorry, fixing my mic. Get more skeletons. That's much better. Hit that, hit that. New enemy! Cyclops level 8. Oh, this guy is no laughing matter. <laughs> he fell on his own spike thing. Open this up and there's a chest right here. Sealed by an unknown power. Hector cannot open it with his strength alone. Huh. Great, more cuts. This is this devil this devil. This door is the is the devil door. You gain an instant devil in this door. And cut to the next cutscene. Enjoy. Uh enjoy. Before me. <laughs> <sighs> Sorry, I went away for a second. What the hell? 
A fairy with a crystal up her ass. Oh wow. And there she goes. The fuck? Well, Patrick Stewart? Devil Forge. No, oh, that's not him. Never seen that before. Quite impressive. It's enough to make your blood run cold. Who are you? Yeah, who are you? Oh, my apologies, my lord. I should have offered an introduction. Yeah. I go by Zed. Zed? I'm here for one purpose only. To purify this land of the pestilent curse which infects it. I see. Hmm. You, on the other hand, are doing the other Devil Forge Master, are you not? The hmm. one you seek fled toward the chapel on the other side of the mountain. He made his escape through the back of the castle. What concern is this to you? Yeah. He is the one protecting the curse. Ergo, he is an impediment to me and to all those who abide in this land. Hmm. I see. Very well. I, Hector, thank you for your help. Now, if you'll forgive me, I must be on my way. Yeah. Get away from this laggy cutscene. Oh well, we got ourselves an instant devil. We got an instant devil fairy has appeared. And we give him a name. V. No. We're gonna name after... I'm gonna name all my innocent devils LPers that I watch. This one goes out to... Yeah. Anthony, a.k.a. Play with him by Wii. You're the first one on my list. Okay, it teaches about innocent doubles and use hearts as energy and stuff. Innocent doubles can also level up along with us. We can give them commands and the type, what it is. This is the fairy type. It can open up treasure chests and they can have and they can restore HP and, st and status things. So we're gonna go to auto and come on, do something. Oh well. Let's go, Anthony. Open. And we'll take this. Dragon Crest. A crest made from carved dragon bone. Looks like it was you played it pl placed into something. Somewhere. That's the truth. And we got a new section of the menu. Uh, we'll go to... Uh, usable item. Memorial ticket. There we go. Much better. This is why I don't register the other safe spot. Yep. And we go down. Down into the waters again. Yep. yep. New enemy! Ow. Birdman! Oh, do you... Oh, killed me, thank you. Oh, you want to know that ID lock is? There's certain types of dinners and doubles that attacks. Pressing triangle makes them lock. There's also a lock on future in this game too. Which I forgot the button. Yeah, there we go. Pressing the L R2 locks onto enemies. This is good useful for something I hate about this game. Where we get to that later. Oh, potion. Why, Norton? Why do you have to do this? Yes. We'll enter the Dragon Crest in here. Ah! Executioner! Bestiary! Now we can look at enemies. Die! Okay, that's our level up. And hamburger. Mmm, yummy. Ow, motherfucker, die. And we go down into the hole. Yeah, the map looks kind of shitty. Yeah, see that path right there? That'll lead us to the uh, Maui statue. 
What are we not going to get today? Yeah, new enemies! Ghost level 3! They look even better than the one in levels of Innocence. And we leveled up! And our attack and sh defense increased. Yep. For each two of them. Yep. For each two levels, you gain attack and defense. Thank you for healing me, uh, Anthony. Thank you. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna kill you, you, and you. Gonna kill you. And we're gonna save and stop right here. When we come back. We are gonna go continue into the abandoned castle. Find out more stuff. And until then. And I will. Catch you later. <laughs>